whatever you want. I am RB Jules Barbie, a doll collector, coming to you from all things Barbie and pretty. Y'all, the party continues. Today is Ken's birthday, okay? He came out um, in 1961, two years after Barbie. He came out March the 11th, 1961. We're going to talk about Ken. We're going to give you the rundown. Uh, about how he came into being. We're going to talk about the black can. Guess what, y'all? We're going to unbox a can and we're going to restyle a can. Okay? So, we also, we have Barbie dressed in the pink label. Uh, beautiful blue and gold outfit here in celebration of Kim. Now, Kim. I said Kim. I meant to say Ken. Now, you see Ken's wife right here. Now, she's going to sit down on the side for a minute, but she's up here because she's letting all 60 of these women know who's in this studio, okay, that Ken is her husband and don't try anything. So, she's solely here to let them know that, yes, he is taken, okay. Uh, the original Ken is two years younger than Barbie, so he's 62 and still looking good, and... um so she's letting him know, yes, he is taken. Don't try anything. So say hello to Ken's wife, which this is pink and pretty Barbie. Okay, and she's wearing the Good Vibes uh, dress shirt from one of the uh, fashionistas and the blue jacket from the Amazon um, haul that I showed last year. And the reason why she may or may not be recognizable is because I dyed her hair. She's a honey blonde, and I dyed her hair because I wanted to see if you could indeed dye Barbie's hair. And yes, you can. And so because she's a honey blonde, this is the color that her hair turned out. And it's absolutely beautiful, and I love the way her curls turned out. So I'm going to let girlfriend sit over here on the side so she can, you know, She's been represented, and uh, the girls know not to try nothing. So we're going to let her sit right here while everything is going on. So we have the Ken. This Ken here is the Great Shape Ken um, from the series of the Great Shape Barbie, but Great Shape Skipper. So um, that's the original Ken that I had from when I was 11. So, um, I got him in, um, 19, um, 1980, no, 1981. That's when I got him in 1981. So, um, that's how old he is, you know, for me. He, you know, this year is 42 years old. That's how long I've had this kid. And I do have his original great shape outfit with the tennis shoes um but i changed his look um the sweater and then the pair of pants and he has on a watch and he has a wallet but because the pants doesn't have a pocket um he can't until he has a nice pair of um shoes and his sweater does velcro in the back now, the odd thing is that this Ken cannot fit a lot of the modern Ken clothes. So, I definitely would have to do vintage for Ken. Um, so, we're going to do a quick uh, rundown of Ken. Um, he was debuted at the International Toy Fair in New York as Barbie's boyfriend in March the 11th, 1961. He was a 12-inch doll with a molded blonde and blue molded blonde and brunette uh, hair. Uh, he came dressed in a red bathing suit trunks with a yellow towel and some sandals. So in 1973, Ken um, hair mold changed to a rooted hairstyle with straight or curly hair. He also had um, facial hair 
and sideburns. In 1978, Ken um, stepped into his iconic look as a superstar Ken with the electric blue belted jumpsuit. In 1979, Ken, um, the sun-loving Malibu Ken with a molded hair was, was introduced. In 1982, Y'all, check this out. Uh, they had a son-loving Malibu Ken. Now, also, in 1982, and we're going to stop right here for a second, okay? This is when the first black Ken was introduced in 1982, okay? Um, okay, that's when I was 11 in 1982. So, that's when I got Ken when I was in 1982, the Ken I have, so... Still, he's still like 41, 42 years old. Math is off, but he's still over 40 years old. So um, when I was 11, the black Ken was introduced. Okay. So the black Ken, he's in his 40s because I was 11. Let me see. I'll be 53. So the black Ken is 42 years old. That's how old the black Ken is. So that's when he came into being. He was created by Margaret Handler. I did look up the information to see if there was someone who created him, but he was indeed created by Mattel. Um, it doesn't give any information when he was created or who by. And um, he had a rooted Afro hairstyle, okay, during that time. So in 1984, you had the Dream Date Ken. In 1992, okay, Ken sported his new rooted hair look with hair gel, totally hair Ken. That's when he had his, you know, his, um, you know, his outfit probably with the loud colors of the of that time, and he had his hair, and then they had the hair gel. I remember that. So I'm gonna put some of these pictures of Ken in the story. So you can see how some of what Ken's looks look like uh, this week. And then um, in 1994, you had Ken who did the Baywatch look with the red swim trunks. And then in 1999, you had the shave and style Ken. In 2004, Ken and Barbie breaks up. In 2006, Ken wants Barbie back. Okay. And they were separated for seven years. So, um, in 2009, Ken helps Barbie to celebrate her 50th anniversary on the runway of New York Fashion Week. In 2010, Ken solidified himself in the fashion world and made 50 wardrobe changes in the Toy Story 3 movie. He also appeared at the New York City's Fashion Night Out in that same year in September. 2011, Ken and Barbie rekindled their relationship after being separated for seven years. In 2012, Ken and Barbie gave the world a glimpse into, into their beautiful love relationship with the web series called, um, called Barbie Life in the Dream House. And you actually could still... Go online on YouTube and look at um, Barbie Life in the Dream House. And it's a cute little show. So um, I look at it from time to time. And so um, we see how Barbie and Ken, you know, how they've been kicking it together over the years, even all the way up until Barbie the movie. They are still together, you know, growing and still doing the, doing the things together. So they've been back to, they were separated for seven years and they've been back together. And they've been moving and going ever since so um even though you know um the world you know barbie is iconic to the world ken is also um iconic and i think deserves some shine just like uh barbie does definitely you know also the black ken um who was created and represented uh, in the doll world as well. And I love how they have now um, created other kins, you know, other, you know, kins of color. And, you know, gave them the different looks like uh, this brother right here 
with the twisted braids, you know, and he's got the fade and everything. And what you've seen him in a recent video when he, when we showed um, the tennis shoes. So um, there are different kins, you know, some kins that are actual heartthrobs and some kins that are just look like regular guys. So, you know, come in all colors, you know, shapes and sizes. So it's pretty cool um, that um, Ken is being more recognized than he has been, you know, in recent years. Um, and just being, you know, given a lot more respect and treated as iconic as Barbie as opposed to her just you know, being her boyfriend. And that's really a little bit um, touching on Barbie the movie. That's kind of what that talked about. And that's when Ken had to find himself. He had to find who he was, you know. So I'm not going to give any spoilers for those of you who still haven't seen Barbie the movie. Y'all go check it out. It's a good movie. It is not for kids. Never have been for kids. And uh, you check out the trailers. The trailers are still out there. And, you know, um, you can buy it at Walmart. You can look at it on Amazon. There's different places that you can look at Barbie to movie. Not sponsored or anything. I've seen it, and I own the movie, and I've only seen it once. I have very much intention very well to go, you know, look at it again. So, um, I very well intend to look at it again. So, that's just a brief history of Ken and you know some of the dolls you know that they've made um over over time and I really wish they would have more Ken fashion packs for Ken um just as they do with Barbie um Mattel if you're listening please make some more fashion packs for Ken we need them so <laughs> so well, y'all without further ado we're gonna do two things y'all we are going to restyle a can and we're going to unbox uh, a can so I think what I'm going to do first is um we are going to I got them kind of off to the side we're going to unbox this can right here you see what I'm talking about he's one of the heartthrobs Handsome guy, you know, beach surfer dude. So we're going to unbox him and uh, talk about him. He's really easy to open. So we just have to take him out and got the packaging. Love it. So we're going to put that aside. So, wow. So he was created in 1917. I said 1917. <laughs> I wasn't born during that time. I can't speak for anybody who's watching who may or may not have been, but I doubt it. Um, so, and his head mold is from 2016, and his body was created in 2017, uh, Indonesia. So, um, here he is, right here, heartthrob. Let me see. Can this can stand uh, on his own? I'm believe I'm believing he can. We're gonna believe that he can. Let me see. See what happens when you believe just a little bit. So I'm gonna pull him forward so you can see that he too has the molded. Um, hairdo, he's blonde and, you know, he has the, you know, I guess which would have been like the spike hairdo and a hair pushed back off the sides and he has the blue eyes. He kind of makes me think about Zach Morrison from Saved by the Bell. That's, you know, he has, excuse me, he has that look, you know, um, that California look. He's, he's very typical California and as you can see, his shorts, they say Los Angeles, so that very typical. All he's really missing, y'all, is a surfboard. That's that's really all he's missing. So his um, facial screening is really good. Eyebrows, really good. Jaw Jawline, really nice. Okay. Um, painted really well. 
nothing's chipped off of his hair, hairline and everything. And so he's wearing shorts. That's it, because he's beach ready. And um, he has the regular points of articulation uh, back and forth. And then his hand, okay, his hand goes forward and back like that. Now, like Barbie's, his is different. And he has a full hard body. So um, that's pretty much what's going on with this Ken right here. Uh-oh. Let's, let's stand him back up. Now we know he can stand because we just did it. Yeah, don't be knocking Ken over. Ken, I have a few things waiting for you, son. So, <laughs> I am so silly. So, here we have the African American Ken. Okay. And he was um, one of the ones that I showed from um, the the large doll eBay haul that I showed. I think it was the last week, I think it was. And he was the only male kin there. So I washed him up and he got his pajamas on. So we are going to restyle this kin, okay? So, um, I do, let me show you his clothes. We are going to, um, and he can fit the hats, but the hat that goes, the hats that I have that doesn't match what he's, what he's wearing. So, one of the sneaker brands that we're going to use, we're going to use these Reeboks right here from the sneaker brand. And here go the shoes right here, which are these are the Reeboks. So I gotta be careful, y'all, how I put these on because it is a left and right, you know, foot to it. So um, we are going to dress him in this Ken's outfit right here. This Ken's outfit right here. And that's actually uh, the Ken's outfit, the one that has on the plaid t-shirt. So I'm kind of glad that this is Ken, uh, his outfit. So, um, let us start to dress him and he can fit everything and he too can fit um the shoes from the sneaker brands um uh, like he had on before so he's putting on these um faux yeah these are faux these faux jean shorts and i really have to get more clothes for my kin and um get some more tennis shoes so we're gonna see how that's going to work out. So um, we're gonna show all the steps as I'm restyling this can right here. So as you can see, here he is with the shorts on right here. So, and they do indeed Velcro in the back. So, um, we're gonna change his t-shirt. And he actually looks nice in the cap, so if I find the right cap to go with the shirt, um, I will indeed um, put a cap on his head because I have an off-white one, and because his shoes is orange and white, I definitely wanted to have like either like an orange hat or you know uh, a white hat to um, go you know, um, fit. Bear with me, y'all. I generally don't dress Ken. <laughs> so, dressing Barbie is pretty easy. So, I'm normally dressing her. So, but we're not going to let that stop us. So, this shirt Velcro's in the back, so it's very easy to put this outfit on him. And I'm going to show you what that looks like Velcroed, and then we're going to add the tennis shoes. So, this is so much fun. I know I didn't do, like, the food in this video, but I really had to chill out with the sweets. As I mentioned, that I couldn't eat a lot. I've been trying to stay away from it and, you know, have let my kids, like, eat it. I'm like, I need to 
you know, eat like I'm supposed to. So I generally do, but I love snacks, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. I love snacks, ice cream and things, and I gotta cut that out. So here he is in the outfit. That's the shirt. So next, we are going to put on these shoes. Again, I'm showing them again. So let me make sure I'm putting it on the right foot. So I won't be taking up a lot of time because I didn't pay attention. Okay. Okay, we got one more shoe to go because and I, I did a, a test run to make sure these shoes indeed fit his feet. And they do. So here are the shoes. Here he is wearing the shaking the camera a little bit. So there they are. They're indeed the Reeboks. So this is Ken, you know, sporting his look and uh, hanging out with all the Kens. Let's make room for all of them. Okay. I swear this guy looks just like Zach Morrison. <laughs> looks just like him. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Well... Either way, it's, it's just. And I know you can stand. Let's just get your shoes and stuff together. Look at that. Effortless, effortless. Oh, and he has the same articulation with the head and his arms and legs and everything. Same articulation, so no different. So it's amazing to see all of these kins standing together. Let me. Okay, they kind of like looking high, but they want to look. There you go. And that's kind of like, I'm trying to get them to look into the camera. Ken, he's just happy just to be happy. <laughs> so I think that's just how this is going to work. So the two of the younger Ken in the plaid shirt is just looking the way he want to look. And then, the you know, the older Ken, he like, I'm old and I look how I want to look. No big deal. So we got some of them looking in the camera, which is super cool. And it was fun to restyle the Ken that I got from eBay. And it was fun to unbox the Ken um, who, um, just in my opinion... Looks like Zach Morrison from Saved by the Bell. And for those of you who've ever watched Saved by the Bell, was my favorite uh, teenage show that I used to look at. So, and um, it was wonderful to um, do a quick timeline of some things that, um, you know, how Ken came into being, actually how old he is and how he became uh, Barbie's, you know, uh, boyfriend. And they've been together more on than off. They was only separated from each other for seven years. So they've been together so long. Why don't they just go ahead on and get married already? You know what I'm saying? So, and it's cool to see when the uh, African-American Ken was created and um, how he's, you know, um, being represented. Also, super cool. This is also a very iconic moment in time um, in the world that that's about change and you know 
um, you know, trying to make some things better, acknowledging things, acknowledging situations, and just giving everybody their proper representation and just making things a lot, you know, a little more equal and a little more fair. And I'm very appreciative of that myself. And um, I too, I'm going to, you know, give more credit to Ken and make sure I dress him more and include him more, you know, in my uh, doll dioramas and worlds. And, you know, it's, um, it's, just a, it's just so amazing. It's so amazing. So I have more videos coming this week might be a little bit more lighthearted because preparing for Barbie's birthday, I'm trying to tell you, was taxing. And it did call, cause me a little bit of anxiety and I had to rest. So sorry that there wasn't a video for Sunday. But we do have a video right now. And there will be videos these coming the rest of this week. And like I said, we will be doing videos for the rest of the month and hereafter, actually, you know. Um, so as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for sharing uh, in this celebration. We're gonna celebrate this whole month. It's about all the dolls, all the Barbies, and all the Kens, and all the looks. We're gonna celebrate everybody. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Um, as always, stay fierce and fabulous, and let's sparkle like Barbie and Ken.